Hey guys, CT Stealth here. As you can see, I have Maya 2011 now. It's a much different color. I'm um, sorry about my voice. If it's too low for you, um, I've lost my mic during the move, so this is just gonna have to do. Uh, I'll try to boost the sound if I can, but if not, I apologize. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is last time I messed up on my spine, so I'm gonna quickly just go back over that because it's kind of been a while. Make sure your uh, IK spline tool handle tool is selected. It can be located in the skeleton right here, the option box. Make sure auto simplify is off because we want the maximum res. So I'm holding V, left clicking, and I'm going to select this bone, and I get that. So I'm going to hide this here, and I'll hide the root. Let me just unparent that real fast. So I have this line, and I want it to be selected. So here we go. There's my spine. I'm going to name this the spine curve, like so. Now I'm going to grab the high res blones, and I'm going to hide them by pressing Shift H. Oh, uh, Control H. Sorry, Shift H is to bring them back. And now I'm going to go to the joint tool, which is right here, skeleton. I don't need the option box for that. I'm going to hold down the C key snap it to this curve. So I'm going to slam it down in the corner and then I'm going to create basically four bones. So still holding down the C key, select the curve and I'm going to put the bone right here. And I'm going to place the bone again, still snapping to the curve, about right here. And then the last bone, roughly about right near the end. So I have a total of four bones here. I'm just going to kind of come in here and look at this, and I see how this is such a big jump. So I'm going to uh, select the bone, and I'm going to go to the Move tool, and I'm going to press Insert. I'm still holding down the C key, I'm going to select the center, and so it's still snapped to the curve. And I'm basically just going to move it, so it's a little bit better uh, mobility-wise. Now you'll want to place these bones, these rig bones based on how your model is. So if you want to try to get uh, your spine to be as centered as possible, and if it is a little bit over the left, you'll need to make a controller that compensates uh, how much you've moved left. So basically now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create uh, these circles. Okay, let's see. Alright, let's make sure your circles default settings are fixed. So I'm just resetting the settings. I'm going to create two circles. So there they are. And now I'm going to uh, go to the move tool and I'm going to snap it to these positions. Now these are going to give me my spine controllers. Now these controllers will control uh, the actual high res spine, but this is kind of like a rig. So while we're here, let's go ahead and rename this and go to modify, search and replace names. I want to replace my joints with spine rig capital R in the rig hit apply they're labeled one through four so that's good I'll close this I'm gonna rename this one my the circle lower uh, spine control and then I'm going to select this controller and I'm gonna call it upper upper spine control now uh, if you kind of notice, the lower will influence the upper because when I move this forward, this upper should come with it. So that means that the upper spine needs to be parented to the lower spine here. So now that I have that, they move in sync with one another. But now we need to attach these to the, um, to the actual rig. So I'm going to hide the spine controller and I'm going to grab the spine, I'm going to highlight all the bones, okay, and then I'm going to select the spine curve, I'm going to go to skin, bind, smooth bind. Alright, now what this should have done is when I move the bones, it should move the spine, which it does. This is exactly what I want. Alright, 
out to get these controllers to influence the spine rig that we've set up. I'm going to select the controller, select the correspondent bone, so in this case this one's in the middle, and I'm going to go to constrain parent. Now when I move the uh, controller, the bone should move too. Right. So I'll grab this one and this spine. I'll go to constrain parent. And now it should move this one, which it does. And I'm going to need one more controller. So I'm going to create an herb circle. And I'm going to snap it to this. This one's going to be my root. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. This is the root, and then we'll need a master control. So I'm going to hold down the X and snap that to the middle. And I'm going to resize it. Now normally these controllers would all be different, so you can distinguish between the two of them. But um, for, for the sake of simplicity, I'm not going to do it right now. So, now that that's done, uh, we can begin placing the items into the root. So, I'll just rename the circle. Circle Master Control. Uh, this one needs to be root control because I already have something named root. So um, I'll just see you in the next video. We'll finish this up.